action. Okay, hello, my name is Siobhan Alexander, and our report is on femoral arteriography. And this is my partner. My name is Christian Richard Larson. Um, okay, uh, our topic today is um, femoral arteriography. But before we start, I will give you guys a little explanation about myself. I have an accent, a, a strong one indeed. So I will be slow when I explain it so you guys could be able to understand. Okay, femoral atrography is an exam, a non progressive exam, which means it, um, it will be surgical in terms of cutting through the body. It's through. Um, it's a medical test that helps radiologists to diagnose and treat different medical conditions. This exam is most informative means to estimate the potential sources of failure in the lower extremity. <coughs> but in femoral atrography, what we are dealing on is on the femur. So, and there is a degree of um, detailed display in the procedure that cannot be achieved with any other non-invasive procedure. Okay, this is the artery. I have, I have the, uh, an artery from, um, from Rush, but I could just pass it on because it's a little one. This is what I could able to um, get from them. The contrasted, um, um, what, what contrast agent do, um, is used on this procedure? Because the contrast agent is, um, um, the, uh, is an agent that is used in visualizing the artery in the femur. Like from the University of Chicago, like um, my colleague interviewed, uh, we had, um, they used, they, they only okay. used the character and bread. The Omni Pilquer 350 and the thing. In Rush, these are what they use. The Lampedo, like um, our colleague uh, initially explained, injection. Um, the Nether Chem, what is that? The Soda um, Chloride 20 and the Soda Viper. Like, the contrast, uh, the contrast use in the MRI is not um, listed in one of these. Um, these are one of the um, contrast media being used. Okay, the procedure. Okay, uh, before we st before the procedure is being uh, started by the uh, radiologist, um, first on the pre preparation level, we go by um, explaining the procedure to the patient. <coughs> After that, then they get the consent. Because the person might reject after getting um, being explained the uh, procedure during the before the exam. Um, the area of um, uh, the area where this injection or the catheter is being um, incited after shave after the shave um, is the crown. The crown is um, in the femoral part of um, the crown is in the femoral part of the um, lower extremity. Then the radiologist makes an insertion into the femoral artery. One of the uh, once the needle is um, in place in the contra is incited into the artery. The contra the contrast uh, material is injected through the artery. Then an X-ray exposure will be taken. We could also do this um, by um, we could also do this by MRI or CT. Or they could also do it through the uh, fluoroscope. Uh, what the very important of the very important of this exam, more especially, is more um, to discover the arteries, to discover the arteries of um, the, um, the blockage of um, the vein in the, uh, the, the blockage of um, arteries in the, in the femur, the occlusion, the suspected vascular trauma, and the hemorrhage, which is also the alignment of um, Actress and the female. Okay, so the indications for this exam is 
One is stenosis, which is the narrowing of the blood vessels. Occlusion, which is the obstruction of the blood vessel. And suspected vascular trauma is like when somebody has a trauma or a penetrating or something that's happened to their lower extremities, they do this test to see if they have vascular trauma. Hemorrhaging, when it's uh, like a lot of blood outpouring of one of the vessels, they will do this exam. Organ ischemia, when blood is not flowing properly to one of the organs, this exam will be done. Renal vascular hypertension, which is arterial occlusion and high blood pressure, if they have these symptoms, this exam will be done. The, contra the contraindications for this exam uh, are patients who have blood type uh, problems, this is not a good exam for them. And patients with kidney problems, it's not a good exam for them because the body cannot eliminate the contrast through their kidneys. And patients who have any allergies to the contrast media uh, or to the iodine, this is not a good uh, exam for them because they can have a bad reaction to it. However, if this exam is really essential for the patient, they will either have a contrast media injected that does not have any iodine or be premedicated with a steroid. Pregnant women should not have this exam because of the ionized and radiation could be fatal to the fetus. This is a picture that I took in the um, NBO suite in the University of Chicago. This is a um, body plane CR, which takes pictures in two different views, AP and lateral, simultaneously. And this is the bed in which the patient would be laid on and prepped on. And this is the little monitor where they log in there, take me care of the they do. This is a viewing monitor, which you can see that I'm on this picture right here. This is the monitor where they Live images on. This, the femoral arteriography is um, benefit to most patients who need it. However, there are some risks for this exam. So um, the benefit that for the test is, I mean, the benefit of this test is to eliminate the need for surgery. And if surgery is needed, this exam will ensure that the surgery is done adequately. And there is a slight chance that the patient could get cancer from the excess of radiation. However, the benefit of being diagnosed <coughs> properly will outweigh the risk. And now we're going to show the video. I interviewed the tech at the University of Chicago. Another second, Mr. White, can we pause? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> 